the moment I dropped out and became an entrepreneur. <laughs> that was my most <laughs> And I, I wrote a whole piece about this uh, in the Wired UK um, that, you know, I think that people that want to shape the future have a hard time in educational systems. Whereas we need to embrace those individuals that are very future oriented because you know, they are the shapers, they, they become the, you know, the, 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 the creatives, the designers, the architects, the entrepreneurs, but even the scientists at a certain moment, they'll come, go back into academia if they, if they need it. And those are the people that you know, create new stuff, land, um, uh, buildings, and think about future. And um, yeah, so that's, that's why uh, it's a bit of a sad answer, actually. Um, yeah, and the other answer is, of course, the relationships you build with both teachers and students. So if you redefine also school as the place which is actually a sort of a social melting pot, uh, which also contributes to uh, you know your development, your well-being. Look much more with peer-to-peer -peer coaching. Um, yeah, having fun together. Yeah. <laughs>